Seasons greetings, little Rimrims, and welcome to Rimworld, where today we are on day eight of the Magical Joris Advent Calendar, which I will quickly pull up on screen and remind you that yesterday we had the Clay Soldier Race added. Today, behind Panda Joris, to absolutely no one's surprise, the most upvoted mod was SRTS Expanded. I probably could have guessed that, given that yesterday it had almost the same amount of votes as the Clay Soldiers, so that really was not a shocker at all. So today's goal then becomes build Santa a sleigh worthy of our new era, new age Santa. And of course, door number nine is everybody's favorite, Queen Joris II. Hello, Queen Joris II. Don't forget to comment with what mod you think should be thrown into the mod list for, for tomorrow's episode and of course the rest of the series. Let's see what we can do with SRTS then. I actually have a few goals today. The first one, of course, is to build Santa a, a mighty sleigh with the SRTS mod. Really, my main goal, though, is to somehow find a way to resurrect Natsa. Now, somebody messaged me and said that, that we could use Natsa on Yeo. Bear in mind, with Yeo, he can stay active for about four hours a day. We could use that to try and craft random classes using the, the, the Rim of Magic mod to eventually try and get a priest. If we get a priest, they can cure certain injuries, one of which, of course, being Natsa's brain damage. Um, alternatively, like I said, we use drop pods, or now we could use Santa's sleigh to try and make friends with people, request trade caravans, that type of thing. Now, we are supposed to be on the uh, the HP Lovecraft storyteller, but I thought it was worth mentioning very briefly that I have done some rebalancing to uh, the mighty Christmas Santa storyteller, designed, of course, by myself and Captain of the Moon Cult from Discord, who did the art for Safety Santa. Uh, this guy does have a ch higher chance of sending trade caravans and providing gifts, because after all, he is Santa. So hopefully at some point today, we'll random off of Lovecraft, and hopefully not onto Igor Invader, or any of those other bloody horrible storytellers that we've had recently. Where are the spaceships then? Oh, here we are. We've got the Genesis, the Phoenix. So I guess if we just queue up a bunch of research for that, and I, I think we'll probably use the Skip or the Albatross. I think the Phoenix is probably a little ambitious, huh? We've got Superpod, Skip, and Albatross. To be honest, the skip, I think, is probably the right one to go for this early on. Bear in mind, so, so one of the other goals I was going to point out today is we really could do with some better weapons. When our best weapons are shit that we've scavenged off of other people, which is all of this stuff, and a couple of Rivendell elf bows, I feel like we're very underpowered for this stage of the game. So I, I want to sort that out. And of course, Barnix is, is, another, is another goal here, um, specifically to try and get Christmas Joris basically fully rebuilt. Put together a quick Joris shopping list from the animals prosthetic table so we can bring our lovely boy back to full health. And you're probably thinking, why am I not doing that for our people who have laid their lives on the line multiple times, who have no kidneys and no real legs and no legs and, well, I think no legs generally across the board, right? Oh my god. Uh, to answer your question, Joris is more important than these stinky, stinky elves. If it was like Santa, maybe I'd consider it. Oh no. Good God, everybody's been... Everybody but Rudolph has something wrong with them. What a guy. SS Serum Stage 3. What the hell is that? Uh, I didn't realize it upgraded. Pain minus 20, moving plus 20, manipulation, blood pumping, sight, hearing, breathing, blood filtration, and hunger rate, and temperatures. Aiming time minus 10%. Whoa. Uh, so it's worth pointing out as well, of course, they've all got their uh, tactical gear equipped now. We've finally finished crafting all of that crap. The tactical helmet gives minus 10% aiming time. The tactical vest gives minus 10% aiming time. So if we put a good gun in the hands of Rudolph, my god, like something takes a long time to aim but does a lot of damage, like a big sniper, it's going to be unstoppable. I decided rather than having three kind of uranium turrets or plasteel turrets, we'll have two demon scale turrets. Now it's six times as long to build and I'm hoping we'll get six times the HP or whatever else the bonuses from the demon scale are. We'll see in a second just kind of how durable these things are. But if they are very good, well, I'm more than happy to set up a mining colony. 800. Ooh, really? <laughs> Only 800? That's kind of a surprise. Um, 27 damage. I don't believe that the damage, uh, uh, sorry, the material used in construction to affects the damage, does it? Well, that's a bit disappointing, to be honest. I was going to say if it was, like, sincerely very, very good. You know, like, over a thousand. Although, to be fair, I don't know the actual base damage uh, or base health of a regular turret. Oh, no. Stormcrowers have experienced a fevered vision. A colossal being stumbles. Its great weight or an enormous size uh, greater than all the land. The crowds beneath, with great joy, extend their arms and close their eyes and smile. There is no escape, no matter the attempt. Oh, Jesus. Uh, affected colonists, because we're on a higher difficulty, we get an extra 5%. 27% sanity loss. So sanity is the system determined by the HP Lovecraft storyteller. Uh, that will confer 
a health negative depending on their amount of sanity. It's not like a bar for it or anything. You basically just track it through this. Um, what does that do? So he takes way more pain, but... Oh, and has a much higher mental break threshold. But because he's like more alert, because the adrenaline is going, he gets more hearing, moving manipulation. If you can balance that right, if you're giving them lavish meals and a nice radio and whatever else, high sanity loss might not necessarily be so bad. Hey, there we are. Plasteel and a little bit of silver there. What do we get from the other one? Um, oh, some steel again. We got a little bit too much steel. I might have to take the other little settlement that we set up. What was it called? Uh, the Great Forge of Natsa. Why don't we say no more steel, only demon scale? I mean... Look, it's got 200 HP on this one and 800 on that one. I mean, four times the health with Demon Scale. I can make an argument for keeping that. Yeah, I think I'm all right doing that. Oh, we got another... Wait, a transport... Ah, oh, here we are. A half tender named Vulture Slayer. Hello. Um, You are going to fucking drown. I'm not going to get to you in time. Yep. <laughs> now, the, the way the drowning mod works is, depending on the severity of the water, is how likely they are to survive it. If you fall in a drop pod... Uh, and you've already got a bad back and you're covered in damage and you're landing in the deep ocean. That is deep ocean water at the end of the day. You are going to drown. If they were to land like here, shallow ocean water, or even in like a shallow river, it's not as bad. It's nowhere near as bad. But this is obviously like worst case. I believe the worst is um, deep moving water because there you just get you just get swept away, basically. What the hell is this? Uh, Gonodiseal. Prime Counselor of Santa's Little Helper. So the guy in charge of our settlements has informed us of a trade ship that's crashed not far from us. With all of this crap in it. It's got a rooster, two goats, uh, four woolly, five woolly bulls, a woolly cow, advanced component, guardian fur, neuron fur, whatever the hell that is. I don't know that I want any of this crap. <laughs> Sheep wool, wizard's hat. Um, where is it? Oh, it actually isn't that far away from us, is it? Hey, look, if we can get the SRTS ship before... What does that expire? Nine days. If we can get the SRTS ship, the skip, before then, more than happy to send Sansa over. Sansa and Rudolph, the uh, Rudolph the murder machine at this point, to go and grab that. That sounds fine. It does say there may be an unknown threat, so I'm, uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to be a little bit cautious about things here. Oh, look, the first of Joris's many implants. How are we looking? So the eye and the jaw is done. The jaw is obviously the real big one because the poor guy can't eat right now. And while I talk about Santa's magic powers, now I know he's got many levels available because we played Verma Magic quite a few times before, but a lot of people in the comment section did point out that I should really spend this as soon as possible. But I didn't want to do it yesterday because there's quite a lot of information to take in and we already had enough on our plate with all the braids and shit. So uh, let's spend a little while talking about this. I'm not going to go too into into uh, too much detail because um, it's not the most interesting thing. It's just graphs at the end of the day. So uh, for those of you who've never played Room of Magic, all two of you, at the top, we've got kind of his uh, passive magic uh, power. Let's call it that. Clarity increases the rate. Mana is recovered. Focus uh, decreases the cost of mana abilities. And then you've got spirit, which increases overall mana pool. Then we've got different abilities here. So each of these abilities has three upgrades. Some vary between, obviously, zero to level five there. Um, some are zero to level three. Now, this one is an ability where you can level up the actual base ability itself by spending points on that. Now, I think it, it always seems to be good for Rim and Magic to go all in on one power because the best part of the abilities you unlock at the highest level. So it'd be better to go, I think, all in on one of them. Now, one of them allowed us to reverse time, didn't it? Um... I assume this one, was it not the highest level, allowed us to... Yeah, look at that. A level 3 may be used on a recently deceased within 2 hours game time to attempt to revert physical condition that caused death. So say, for example, Joris is shot in the heart and you're to blame. We can resurrect him with Santa's magic spells. Uh, what is this one? Reverse manipulation. Oh, that just decreases the cost of it and then rewrite history. Um, increase the amount of rot, decay, or equipment damage. Uh, that is reverted. Ah, good. Okay. Um, that's not too bad. I like the idea of accelerate time. People were saying that accelerate time for the age acceleration casted on enemies as an offensive spell is very, very, very powerful. Um, I think for the timing, let's go all in on that and kind of get ourselves that safety of if one of our characters dies, we can quickly bring them back to life. I've gone three points into denial, three points into rewrite history, the one that reverses uh, uh, more 
as it says there, rot, decay, etc. And then reverse manipulator, which is um, an 8% mana reduction. That's obviously better than going into that one, which is only 2.5%. So if you wanted to uh, just focus on this one, we could then go into that one. But I think we'll go for a different ability first. For his ultimate ability, Recall, using the Master Scroll, we have to make the scroll at this. Um, so let's take a look here. Recall is 180 on Refined Magicite and 130 Devil Strand. It actually might be a terrible idea in that case to start a Devil Strand farm. How much Lembus have we got? Have we gone too hard on that again? 8,000. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been a terrible idea to put down another farm just in this section. I don't want a huge amount of Devil Strand. Actually, how much Nutramine have we got? Because I feel like I've been caning that recently. Um, 1,265. Let's swap that over to Devil Strand then. Or not, because we haven't done it. Fuck. All right, cancel the spaceship. We need to research mushrooms. Oh, no. What is that noise telling me? Raid? Oh, Storyteller has changed to Randy Random. That's okay. That's probably one of the more innocuous Storytellers. And we have an infested ship crash landing somewhere somewhere around here there it is yikes and we still don't have any good weapons do we that's the one that if we crack it open has a queen in it doesn't it i think for the time being forget it don't worry about it that's not a problem there's another one too look at this the saraf the drop ship the albatross and the pelican cargo ship seem like a much better idea for santa right so let's go ahead sorry i've just accidentally cancelled devil strand there finish off the devil strand so it's not going to take 30 seconds i think we'll go for the pelican instead that's a great idea Pelican. There we are. I didn't realize that that was another alternate one. So it's the Pelican, the Phoenix. I assume the Phoenix is obviously the combat one or um, maybe the speedier one than this one. But obviously this one maybe has a much higher cargo capacity. Devil Strand's done and Joris's leg is done. So we'll go ahead and start the operation on him as soon as possible. Right, so Devil Strand is going there. Um, do we have a bed for little Joris? Of course, we have the mighty Thrombo for a bed. Right, little Joris, let's get you back to... No, I would never. How dare you? Shouldn't have to say this, but of course I've, I've told him to use the best quality medicine on Joris. Unfortunately, we don't have any right now. Um... It would make more sense. Oh, God. Okay, thank you. It would make more sense to have Joris be operated on in here because, of course, it's a cleaner room. Um, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Nothing nothing is uh, too good for little Joris. Oh. Uh, Joris, I need to... Joris, I need your bed. Can I just uninstall it from under him? Will that work? Uh, no. <laughs> Shit. That's right. I think you're a fucking liar. Sense of predicted a space battle will occur within an hour. Ah, uh, looks pretty space-free to me, friend. Excellent. That should be a fully... Oh, look at that. A fully rebuilt Christmas Joris. Holy shit. Is that made him probably a bit more efficient as well? Oh, yeah. That works quite well. Let me just replace all of his legs. What, what does it confer? Uh, 3% manipulation. I feel like it's not really so relevant, is it, with, uh... With a polar bear. Um, so I, I, I wanted to know the speed, specifically. 125% efficiency. Oh, wow. So if we give him four extra legs, that makes him 100% faster. So hear me out here. Give him some yayo. Give him some anima fruit. I bet that would get him up on his feet. Okay. Uh, Santa, operate on Natsa. Give him the yayo. That gets him up. Right. Now, Natsa, we need to not waste any time here, pal. I need you to immediately start work on the gem of physical insight to make Rudolph into the super soldier that we want him to be. Run. Go, go, go. Fast as you can. Okay. Come on. This, this has to be speedy. I should put a shelf there and just put the magicite on there. Because where else are we going to use it realistically? Yes, yes. Go, go, go. Fast. What have we got here? Oh, taxes. That's fine. Thank you. And, okay, we're good. Now drop that on the floor. Give that to Rudolph, who is going to now become a, 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 a kind of physical class. And now we can go and give him the Gladiator book too. Now, I know he's very good at aiming, but I assume that also applies to melee as well, right? Just how fast he can acquire new targets. Well, let's see how it goes. Either way, it doesn't matter too much because it's going to be incredible. Cleave. Oh, what is that? Oh, that sounds fun. We're just making a good melee weapon. Um... Well, let's see what I've got on my Christmas melee weapon list. So we finished. Oh, there we are. Look at that. Oh, there's our planetary planet energy teleporter. So that is what we power with our end game. Um, you know, when we get to all the different bones and extract the energy. That's what we're powering. So Santa sucks the energy out and then goes to a whole new world. Okay, so what do we need for this then? Um, oh, we're lacking the gold. Santa! Ah, uh, I gave it all to the Empire, didn't I, to make him a knight, which is also something we should really focus on getting done today. Oh, somebody said as well that apparently we don't actually lose the Psylink from skipping over a level. It does. It, it, it is retroactive, which is quite nice. 184 demon scale. So I, I've just swapped the, the uh, Great Forge of Natsar over to gold. I'm hoping. Oh, that's unlucky. I was hoping we'd get some gold in with our other lot, but we got silver, demon scale, and uranium. God, we got a lot of that now, huh? Build like a, like a demon scale sword or something. Uh... There's anything at all in there, right? 
Uh, let's build a smithy then and see what melee weapons we've got access to. Because we've got all those elf weapons research, don't forget. So let's go production and... Oh, what else have we got then? Scav benches from Rimson, all right. And then we've got... Is that the only one we've got for the time being? Okay, fair enough. We'll probably queue up. Uh, I know one of the Rimsonal factions, I think Jotun, have these crazy, crazy melee weapons. If we build those out of demon scale, I think we're onto a winner there. For the time being, we'll just go for regular old boring electric smithy. We'll put that one there. Uh, smithing cabinets do exist. Kind of ram them in like that. Okay, let's see what we can build then. Any big fancy weapons for me? Um, elephant spear, I believe. We can't actually make that out of anything but wood. Yeah, okay, that's a shame. Thrombo saber. Oh, wow, look at that. Do we actually need a thrombo? Oh, we need a thrombo horn for it. It's not a it's not a saber for a thrombo. It's uh it's a it's a saber made from thrombo, which would probably be quite upsetting to Rudolph. Demon's fang. Hello. 50 demon hide. Oh man, that's different to demon scale. So demon scale is just the item you get from killing them. Demon hide is what you get from butchering them. Damn, that's a shame that we haven't got that then. Okay. Um got some magic wands in there. Uh, obviously I have to make him like the armor and the helmet, I guess, at some point, or the ancient mail to Thrumkin Blade. Oh, there we are. Uh, what's the damage on that one? 7.85. It's the best one we've got. 9 point, oh, 10.37. Holy shit. Uh, that's probably gonna be quite hard to beat, except for some of the magical stuff, right? Wow. So, the Elf Lang, I think that is. Uh, and we can make it out of Demon Scout. Oh, this is gonna be good. Comparing these two, the Armor of the Valiant gives energy cost minus 10% and 10% XP gain along with the social impact plus 15 melee hit chance plus 0 0.1 and minus 10 aiming time the ancient male gives lower movement speed actually lower social impact higher psychic sensitivity higher mental break but look at the uh little bonus there uh, just slightly below the cursor augmented by arcane specter 50% chance to deal 20% bonus damage so you might as well just say that's 10% bonus damage overall that's quite good is it better than Armor of the Valiant, though? I think, to be honest, with the melee hit chance, accuracy over damage, I think I take accuracy every day. Okay, and then Helm of the Valiant, I assume, does a similar thing, but for... Right, but obviously a smaller variant because it's the helmet. Um, Paragon's Helm. Oh, look at that one, too. That's really cool. I think I'd probably make an Armor of the Valiant and the Paragon's Helm. I was falling into this trap of Rim, Rim of Magic trying to work out what the hell is the best thing to actually craft for them. Could wear both. That's middle and that's outer. Oh, interesting. Um, actually, can you? Because sometimes armor doesn't... Well, that depends on what it covers, right? Fuck it. <laughs> Honestly, why not? I mean, 450 ingredients, yikes. Okay, so we probably haven't got enough to actually test all of these. Um, 200 ingredients there too. And what do you use up? 180. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to make all of this straight away, but I'll just queue it up and eventually we'll get we'll get little Rudolph equipped with a bunch of demon armor and uh, an elven demonic saber. You know, like Christmas is intended for... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You got inspired creativity just as so you started working on the weapon. Holy shit. Maybe a couple of bionic arms wouldn't be a mess. Have we got the... I, I mean, we've almost certainly got the resources for it, right? Advanced bionic arm. Now, what do those give? 150% efficiency. Yikes. Um, I'm just going to type in arm. Yeah, I guess that is the best thing we can make. Then. Let's make a couple of those for Santa. Get him upgraded. Nats is still down, but if we give Nats uh, the Yayo, get him up so we can operate on Santa. God, would you really trust that? Your doctor's heavily, heavily brain damaged, but they give him a, a cocktail of drugs that just about keeps him alive. We also make a close quarters combat assistant for Rudolph as well. Holy shit, this guy's gonna be uh, a powerhouse. You know what? I might make him a couple of Barnack arms too. Oh, that's a bit more Santa. Oh, that's huge. Holy shit. Yeah, cancel that crappy little thing. Yeah, give me one of these. We need like a landing site for it. Although this area is fairly perfect for that. What was gonna be our prison labor area? Oh, joy of joy. Merry fucking Christmas. Once again, everything's exploded. Of course it would be the room filled with oil. Let it burn. Santa's given up on the oil industry. I don't care. I literally could not care less about this fucking oil anymore. Done. Right, go away. Not another one. Another one already? I haven't even dealt with the bloody last one. Oh, that's quite close. No. Okay, that's fine. This is the one where the insects just come out straight away, is it not? Uh... N n no? Okay, that's good, because it means I can keep working on Rudolph's stuff. Oh, that's pretty good. Satsuki. Oh! <gasps> no longer inspired. Santa Toy Builder has built his greatest work to date. A legendary blade. Holy shit, it's even got an enchantment. Oh, look at this. Stunning rare. It got a rare enchantment on it, too. 
Oh my god. Market value plus 10%. Melee damage multiplier plus 15%. 20% chance to stun the target for 40% of the damage. Holy shit. <laughs> the ergonomic bed is intricately detailed. At the edge of the image are a group of zucchinis. I don't need to read any more about that. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to show beds and zucchini related incidents on this year YouTube channel. Holy shit. That literally could not have gone any better. What's the damage on that? 40. 40. Holy shit, Santa. Yeah, you deserve that, my friend. Honestly, just fucking... Honestly, my friend, you can you can jetpack jetpack the way 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 home. You deserve it. What a fucking guy. Rudolph will will kill everybody. Rudolph will absolutely kill everybody now. This is so good. Predicted infestation. No, 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 no. Hopefully, Santa's wrong about the infestation. Because we've got enough bloody insects to deal with. Although, with Rudolph on the case. Those insects are, are probably going to want to take off and leave again. But this hatchet has, uh, has melee damage multiplier plus 5%. Now, it says if we have an infuser, we can extract that. And I assume that means we could put it on Rudolph's sword. Bear in mind that sword has, uh, what is it, like four infusion slots because it's legendary. And if we find a better one, we can just extract it. So how do we make an infuser? This is something I've, I've... Oh, right, of course, it's from the Infusions mod, so it's probably, uh... Somewhere else. Infuser. Nothing there. Um, maybe the machining table? Nothing there. Uh... I've, I've absolutely no idea. Oh, we've got enough resources now. Oh, fantastic. Here we go. Santa's sleigh is finally ready. Boom, look at that. Wow, that's impressive, huh? Fantastic. I thought I built a little landing area there, too. Um, one thing I have done that's taken a lot of time here is I've decided to double up the thickness of all the walls just to make it a bit more sapper-proof. Until we've got bionic legs for everybody, we need to slow down enemies as much as possible. And if that means layering up with a few more stone bricks or, or steel, that's fine by me. Shaman trader. They've got wizards. If we're ever going to wake this up, now might be the time to do it. Uh... And if it goes horribly, horribly wrong, we just use Santa's magic powers to reverse time, right? So what can we do for Rudolph then? So he has grapple, uh, scorpion style, I assume, cleave. Powerful sweeping blood that can strike multiple enemies adjacent to the target. Oh, that's quite good. As long as the gladiator has enough stamina, this ability works automatically. Right, okay. Uh, cleave chance is calculated from weapon mass. Heavier weapons are likely to cleave. Oh, and that, that enchantment that we had gave higher weapon mass. That's not bad at all. Um, whirlwind seems pretty good. Okay, dashing forwards in a furious whirlwind of steel and death. So I assume it's similar, but you cover an area in it instead. Um, rather, maybe just an arc. Sprint power, because the speed of sprint, but increases physical drain. I think to start off with, damage war combat abilities by 5%. Let's dump him all into into just straight up combat efficiency. Like, like straight up damage to start off with. Okay, Trey Caravan. I hope you like insects. Oh, good lord. Are they going to help? I think they're helping. Uh, Rudolph's just going to fucking get in there. You know what? Slice her to pieces, Rudolph. What a guy. He's stunned her already. This is incredible. Oh my god, he's stunned that one too. I think Rudolph may be a slayer. Look at him go. I hope he doesn't get murdered here. I think I'll probably do fine though. Man, I'm actually so impressed by the uh, by the sword. Look at him. He basically just soloed that. Christ. Oh, that woke up the other one. Oh, I didn't know it was going to wake up the other one, you son of a bitch. Fuck. I should have... I, I assume the damage they were taking was from just uh, an insect that broke them through. Rudolph. Oh, Rudolph. We could do with a hand here, friend. Uh, run forward. And... Slice. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. So it's... um. Just so we know, it's everything in a line uh, up to that point. So that does count as attacking their, their friends. I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean to. We're very lucky we didn't accidentally aggro them there, to be fair. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, my God. Rudolph could have soloed this whole thing. He is so fucking powerful. I cannot believe that. Right. Kill him. Kill him dead. You're on your own here. Uh, I mean, actually do kill them, though. Uh, we haven't got, like, a like a seek and destroy option in this. So I'm just going to have to still direct him around a little bit, unfortunately. Look at him go. I'm, I'm so impressed. I've never been more impressed by anything in my entire life. Well, that's not necessarily true. But holy shit. What a, what a guy. And that's all thanks to Santa's toy crafting abilities. All those years building horrendous crappy plastic models to sell on aliexpress it's paid off because now he's got a demon scimitar for his for his favorite reindeer and he is a reindeer i don't care what you say oh no 
Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's those things. God, they make me laugh. Um, okay. Send him in. I, I genuinely have so much faith in him now. I think he could solo it. They seem to be throwing skeletons at the trade caravan. Holy shit. They better not blame me for this, fuckers. Go, go, go. Get in there, Rudolph. Get in there. Hopefully they'll kill their elephants so I can loot whatever they have. I didn't even bother trading with them because it was a, a... You know, we have bigger things to worry about, arguably. Within range? No, no, no. We're not. We're not. We're not. Get closer. Get closer. Don't get shot, Rudolph. Oh. Oh. Careful, careful, careful. Okay. Go. Slice. Kill him. Slay him, little Rudolph. He's going to do it. He's actually going to do it. The madman. Focus on the lich. Focus on the lich. I just... Look at this man. We've created the perfect warrior. What has he dropped here? Fighter skill. Torn. Oh, we can actually use that too. Wow. And we've got... Oh. Nats of the Necromancer. I like it. Has a nice ring to it. And there we go. He now knows Torn. Torn's nearby targets to attack this pawn. That's... I mean, that's great news. I can't believe that. You remember how much we struggled with that first Necromancer? What a showdown that was. <laughs> Just sent one horny boy in with his big, long poker. Oh. <gasps> Santa. Safety Santa at long last. Okay. Um, he's a little bit injured, but I still have faith in him. Far more faith than I possibly should have, because I think this is going to end disastrously at some point. I think, I, I think I'm putting way too much stock in one guy. We could bring in the others for reinforcements, I guess, but I don't think he... I don't know how much they're really going to help. Go on, bring him forward. And then Rudolph, get in there. Now, there are a lot of mages here, so this could be a very easy foil to him. We got, like, geomancers and gladiators. Okay, good luck. We've got to be careful they don't start casting that weird geomancer magic. Now, that whirlwind, right, is a, is a straight line attack. So if we just cut straight through there, they're casting spells. What the hell was that? He casted something. God knows what he did, though. And... And slice! <laughs> He's so good! I just... I'm blown away by that. He's just insane. Oh, and here we go. Santa's here now to help tidy up the rest. Just kill him dead. Just fucking... Let's focus on the important ones for a start with uh, with Rudolph. Now, if they if they knock him down, we're obviously in a lot of trouble because then he'll start drowning. And that would be a, that'd be a real problem. Fucking hell, we are annihilating them. Holy shit. No, leave none alive. Rudolph, you know what you must do. If you butcher a Thrumkin, do you get a Thrumbo Horn? I doubt it. We could always give it a go. No, nobody leaves. I don't think you understand. Don't come in. Oh, I mean, they're going to be as fast as we are on the water. Oh, he did a he did the scorpion attack. I never even considered that. Wow, completely wiped him out. Would win twenty eight angry tribal raiders or one pokey boy. Uh, Santa, what's going on? What are you better rest in? Uh, brother, I've got jobs for you. Are you actually genuinely hurt? No, bruised leg. Fuck you, Santa. Oh no. No, you give me Santa for... <laughs> I'm so glad I wasted my time on that mod. Wow. Really glad I made that one. Santa for five minutes. Brilliant. Oh, there it is. Okay, that one actually came true. That's a big mech cluster. I suppose we've got a lot of... Oh, shit. Um, I suppose we've got a lot of colony wealth. Scyther, Pikeman, Lancer, Centipede. Uh, three charge turrets and an auto mortar and one sleeping centipede with... Um, five unstable power cells means one well-placed mortar would take this whole thing out. Uh, met low shield. They've only sent a low shield as well. Uh, unless I'm being a fool, that's absolutely the case. Right. You're so screwed. We don't have mortars, but we do have catapults. No. Would that even work? Is that minimum range there, I would assume? It's a fucking catapult. It's got to be minimum range, right? But that marble might be a bit more durable, but it'd take about ten times as long to build. What do we launch with the catapult? I assume just stone chunks. If this works and we defeat a mech cluster with a deer with a sword and a catapult, I'm... I'm... Uh, that's it. I mean, we've beaten the mechanoids forever. That, for the rest of RimWorld. I think mechanoids are probably a bit of a hard counter to our gladiator reindeer. No. Yeah, he's decided to kill Rudolph. Good one. Yeah, fucking good one. Um, the only problem is I think Rudolph will actually kill Santa. Uh... What do we do here? What the hell do we do here? Just keep Rudolph moving until Santa gives up? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe we could... Okay. 
Okay, be careful. Let's go ahead and, and let's fist Santa until he uh, until he can't move. Go, get him. Get him, Rudolph. Please don't kill him. Oh, okay. That was a bit dangerous. You didn't... Oh, my God. I genuinely, for a second, then thought he punched him in the stomach and destroyed it. Oh, my God. Santa would have died there. He's gone into a coma. Oh, now we haven't got Santa for days either. Shit. We need to be very, very careful here. So, the coma is what caused Nats' brain damage. So, we need to be very, very careful that we don't... That we don't end up in the same situation there. And have both the... Uh, both the Claws brothers just laid out in time for Christmas. <laughs> so I decided to cheer myself up. I build a demonic circle. Hasn't really helped. Okay, Rudolph. Get on the catapult. I've got to be very careful our boys don't walk over there. All we've got to do is hit one of those unstable... Oh, okay, careful, careful, careful. Right. I'm going to say in for that one. Worst case scenario, he hits like the mortar. Firing it central, it means that we've just got much higher chance to hit well, anything really. Good luck. Right, here we go. Whee! Fucking, what a whiff. What a whiff. Okay, round two. Come on. That's way off target. Oh, it almost, almost hit something. God, you're terrible. <laughs> you are really just god awful, aren't you? Hit something. I don't know what we hit. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Well, that'll fucking do it. Um, so now we got a centipede. So we've got two centipedes, a pipe lancer, and a scyther. The lancer is basically dead. Um, the only problem is we've got five people to fight it. One of them's good at melee, basically, only. Um, I guess we can use this the alternate way around. We're, they should still be able to fire through it. Yeah, they can. That's okay. We haven't, we've only got one demon scale turret now. The other's got completely destroyed. Come on, just... Okay, there we go, there we go. Pyman's coming in. Oh, the centipede's going that way. I'm almost tempted to send Rudolph in to go and single out the centipedes. Let's see what he can do there. I know, it, oh, I mean, am I really going to leave that many people behind to fight a pikeman? No, I'm not. So Arctic and Stormcrowd go with Rudolph. Back him up. Oh, God. This is a, doing me a concern. This is doing me a serious concern. Okay. What are you doing? Standing there menacingly. Can it not see us there? Seriously? Okay. Uh, Whirlwind? Good luck. Oh, he stunned it. Watch out for that flamey, flamey boy. Oh, God. Rudolph. Oh, God. Okay. Arctic and Stumcrow, if you could get down here fast while it's stunned. Maybe take it out. Oh, he pulled it over. What a play. Now that one can't see us. What a fucking guy, yeah? Why is he so much better at this game than I am? <laughs> ha, what a what a guy. Honestly, Rudolph, you are a, you're a winner. You're the real winner here. So what have we what have we dealt with? That is that all of them? Oh, there's a lancer over there. Well, we'll send you guys in to go and hunt that one down. Let's put you behind some decent cover. That one's down. And then we've got this one here causing a bit of a ruckus. So let's be careful. See if we can stun it. No, 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 no. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay. Come down here. Let's pull it in. Okay, and pull it in before it gets a chance to fire. Oh okay, well, we pulled it in. It did fire, but it's okay. We've 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 got it. Rudolph is also on fire, but we can start getting some damage in there. Come on, Rudolph. Rudolph, extinguish. Rudolph, my man, for God's sake. Why is he not putting... Okay, this game sometimes does me a significant anger for stupid shit. Okay, get in there. Melee attack. Get a stun. Good. One good stun is all we need. Come on. Yes. And we're good. Wow. Okay, that was really well handled. That was quite a large mech cluster. We got very, very lucky with that catapult. We still got one boy to deal with here. I think I have enough faith in Solon that he could probably solo that. Okay, good luck. Get in there. No, why can't I move him? Okay, there we are. So the game is being a bit bizarre then. Just run and gun. Run and gun. Nice. Oh, look at that. It feels like I haven't really achieved a huge amount, but when you break it down, we did a pretty good job, all things considered. You know, we dealt with uh, two insect raids, mechanoids, uh, tribal raid. Rudolph got the best sword I think I've ever seen in RimWorld, with the exception, of course, of the really OP crazy stuff like the Arkham Matter crap. Uh, we've built ourselves a sleigh for Santa. Well, kind of a sleigh for Santa. The only thing we wanted... Oh, and of course, fully restored Christmas jars back to health. The only thing we didn't get to do was, of course, start the mission to restore Natsa with bionic implants or whatever else. Oh, the Lich. How could I forget that as well? Although, Santa did fall into a coma, which none of us could have predicted. So hopefully we'll get him out of the coma tomorrow. We'll get him in the SRAF. 
will send him out to go and deliver presents to the boys and girls of the world and pull in as many trade caravans as possible in the hopes that we can find some sort of brain stimulator or tech prints. Either one. Or even, you know, like uh, you know, like I talked about the uh, the priest uh scroll to turn someone into a priest. It's very action packed. Today was today was very, very combat heavy. I would really like to see a little bit more time to do the stuff we want to do. Tend to our wounds a little bit because it's really starting to stack up now where we haven't finished obviously sorting out the barnets yet. So our people are still slower than they were before. We've upgraded Rudolph Shaw, but that alone is not enough. We've got five people capable of combat and I'm getting a little bit concerned for things. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this very combat Christmas episode. Thank you to Cat, Amethyst C, Slowking1710, Adam Spleen, King Snitch Gaming, Slippinips, Mr. Moma, Alchemia, Archbishop, Udric, Nick Danger 013 Sweetsy and of course everybody at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place for giving me the time to make my own mods, build my own mod packs and more importantly make three edited, well technically four right now, edited videos a day on uh, of course this channel and the second channel. So a big thank you to those guys and a thank you as well to Atreus Sen, Lilac, Alex Schultz. Matteo, thanks for the loan, Bojo, Thistress Marana, Bare Minimum, Stormcrower, Roger Wilco, Smartworm, Proximity Jones, and everyone else at the Patreon. At the Patreon. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Good work. See you all tomorrow.